Hello, what's up and what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking on the Browns. We got a revenge versus the Steelers. Now we lost to the Ravens, Steelers, and Browns in consecutive weeks. And now we're at a spot where we're going to play the Steelers, Browns, and Ravens in consecutive weeks. Next week is the Ravens. Can't look past the Browns. They have a losing record, the only team in the division with a losing record. But they're still a very, very capable team at 4-6. and six. They got beat down by the Giants, you saw there. But they would beat us by three, lose to the Eagles. They would beat the Ravens and lose a close game to the Steelers. So, again, they're a very capable team. They're going to have to play, though, without Jeff Garcia. He was probable. He was out there warming up. But, unfortunately, for the Browns, he is unable to go. So, it's going to be Cully Holcomb and his backup will be Luke McCown as Watson gets the opening kickoff all the way up to the 25 yard line. We get the ball to Rudy. Rudy had a decent game last week trying to add to it here. That pass is going to be caught by Warwick and that's going to result in a first down. Now we're going to get the ball to Chris Perry and the Michigan man going to get brought down at the line of scrimmage. Second down and 10 going back to Peter Warwick and that pass was beautiful and we have two Passes, two completions for 27 yards. Going to take a shot deep, and that pass is broken up. Chad had a step, but, yo, I guess that linebacker can just run with the best of them. We run the ball up the gut. That's going to result in a gain of six. Third down and four. Under some pressure, going to drop it off to Reggie Kelly, who picks up a first down move. Those chains. And right now, we are creeping up on field goal range. Dropping back the pass. That pass going to be caught. Palmer. Is heating up, throws another strike, and that pass is complete to Mr. Chad Johnson. Get the ball to Rudy, and look at Rudy. I'm telling you, I think we're starting to get this running game going. Going to take it to the outside, and Rudy Johnson going to pick up a decent game there. First and 10 play fake. Going to go to the end zone, caught by Chad. Touchdown, Bengals. In the Battle of Ohio, we are looking for some revenge after this team beat us on the road in Cleveland. So we got to protect home field, and so far we are doing just that. Hulk, I'm going to pitch this one to William Green. And Green going to get brought down at around the line of scrimmage. I'm going to say he picked up one yard. Second down, nine yards to go. He's going to go with a play fake. Hulk, I'm going to throw that thing, and that pass is broken up by Webster. So third down and nine, four-man rush. Good protection. That pass is just Fling to the left side, and it's going to be caught by Davis for a first down. They got a man open, caught by Green out of the backfield. Back-to-back -back passes, back-to-back -back first downs. Get your fullback involved. Smith breaking a couple of tackles, and their fullback picks up a gain of five. Man in motion was Morgan. Holcomb has it, throws it. That pass caught by Sanders, and that's going to be a first down. Holcomb showing that he could potentially be a starter. One day in the NFL, a consistent starter. Second down, three yards to go. Going to get that thing to Green, and Green going to pick up around five in the first down. Both teams having great opening drives, but can the Browns match our touchdown with a touchdown of their own? Second down and nine. Holcomb has it. Throws it. That pass caught by Morgan. Touchdown, and there you have it. And Quincy Morgan, I believe, was drafted. He was the... Last receiver drafted right before Chad Johnson in the same season, obviously. That pass going to be caught by Ruda, and that's going to result in a gain of seven. Ten seconds go here in the first quarter. We get brought down in the backfield, 7-7 seven, seven to score as we end the first quarter. So we're looking at third down and five to start the second. Palmer going to find Peter Warwick again. The Florida State Seminole coming through when we need him to. Taking the shot deep. And that pass will be broken up. Tight coverage by the Browns secondary. Now we're going to run the ball with Johnson and Rudy. Going to pick up a nice gain there. Again, our rushing attack has gotten better week in and week out. Going to find Chad right there. He makes the catch on third down for a first down. Looking for Rudy Johnson out of the backfield. He hauls that one in. Breaks a tackle. Cuts it up. And gets brought down inside the Cleveland 30-yard line. So we're back in scoring range as we get brought down at the line of scrimmage. Is that Shanley? I want to say his name is Shanley. Palmer steps up, throws it. That pass didn't stand a chance. And now it's going to be third down. We're three for three on third down. Could make it a perfect four for four. Going to throw it underneath the work who drops it. Probably would have got tackled short of the first down anyway. So send out the field goal team. And the kick is no good. 
So we drive down the field yet again, just like we did on our first drive, but this time we walk away with zero points. Morgan makes the catch right there, and that's going to result in a first down in Bengals territory. That pass going to be caught by Jones. And this, again, Cully Holcomb and this Browns offense seems to be unstoppable right now. Davis with the catch. That's going to result in a Cleveland first down. As now they're back inside the red zone. Up the gut goes Green, and we slam the door shut. Nate Webster with another tackle. They run the ball with Green. Got a block, and Green finds the end zone. Touchdown Cleveland. And the Browns are now up by seven. It would be a shame. To lose to the Browns at home after losing to them in Cleveland after just beating the Steelers. So, I mean, we got to get something going. That pass caught first down. Palmer going to hand the ball off to Rudy. Rudy again finding running room, and I'll take five yards there. Second down and five. Going to run the ball again. Two backs, no tight end, but three receivers. So, a look that you don't really see too much anymore because, I mean, who really runs the eye formation anymore? But we do it here. We're going to run the ball to the right side. We go nowhere. So now it's going to be second down and long. Palmer looking left, still looking, redirecting traffic. Nobody's open. Going to have to throw that thing away. So third down and 11, trying to keep our drive alive. We throw it underneath, caught by TJ Hushmanzada. We're not quite in field goal range, but it's fourth and one. We're going to go for it, and Chad gets open for another Cincinnati Bengal first down. Palmer steps up, throws it, caught by Hushmanzada again. And that's going to result in a gain of seven. Going to take a shot deep. Broken up. Tight coverage in the end zone. Two minutes to go here in the second quarter. We're three for five on third down. Make it four for six as we find Rudy Johnson. Palmer is just making the right reads time and time again. Rolling right. Has a man in the end zone. Caught by Peter Warwick. Touchdown, Bengals. And if the PAT is up and good, this thing will be tied at 14 all. So Holcomb has him. We'll take a shot deep to Davis. He brings it in. Got the best of James on that play. And now they're in a field goal range in this 14-14 ball. Can have a man open. That's Morgan. And they work their way back inside the red zone. Minute on the clock. They get the ball to William Green. And he's going to fall forward to the two-yard line. Second down into. They can get a first down. Not getting a touchdown. They get nothing on that play as we get a sack. Quick pass. And that hit knocks that football up out of there. So the Bengals' defense holds 44 seconds on the clock. They're going to get a field goal, and they're going to take the lead right back. So we're down by three, and we have about 40 seconds on the clock as Watts is going to work his way upfield. Decent kick return there. So 38 seconds now to work with as we spread things out. Palmer sets his feet, throws it. Broken up again. Second down and 10. Going to go back to the air. Palmer going to roll right this time. Throws it, and that pass caught by Chad. Brought down at midfield. Palmer looking. Going to throw this one Chad Johnson's way. And that pass by Carson Palmer will hit that turf. Palmer dropping back some more. Going to throw it underneath to Rudy Johnson. And we're going to burn a timeout. So 20 seconds to go here. Palmer has it. Throws it up. And in and out of the hands of Peter Work. It was double coverage. But the ball got to him. But he was unable to squeeze it. We put the ball away. And the Browns will milk the clock. And there goes the numbers. Pretty even, but the Browns have the lead, and they're going to have the ball to start things off as Torrey James lays the lumber on the kick return. They're going to get the ball to Green. Breaks the tackle there, works his way upfield. Gain of nine for the Browns to start things off. Second down and in inches. Holcomb looking. Holcomb throwing it. Caught by Davis, and another first down for the Browns. Holcomb drops back. Goes underneath again. Caught by Davis again. Brought down by James. Gain of seven there. We're going to put eight guys in the box. They're going to pass it. And that pass nearly intercepted. Hardy couldn't quite bring that in. They're going to run the ball with Green. Green will not pick up the first down. Looked like he had it. But he didn't quite cross that yellow line. And we take over. And Rudy Johnson is following his fullback with the same last name. And that's going to result on the first down. Give it to him again. Going to pick up nine yards there. Give it to Johnson, up the gut, weaving through traffic on third down and one and picks up the first down. Perry going to go backwards there. Palmer sets his feet, throws it to Chad, coming across the middle. Another big hit as we pick up a first down. I think these teams don't like each other. There goes Chris Perry to the right side, picks up nine. Our formation, two receivers to left, tied into the right. Going to throw it to that tight end. 
and Reggie Cully forgot his hands at the line of scrimmage. We're going to run the ball with Johnson. Up the gut, picks up a first down by the hands of Chinny Chin Chin. So we're doing what we need to do on this drive. As we find Chad again, they can't stop him. Eight catches, 93 yards plus a touch. He was still in the third quarter. Throwing it to Chad, and we overthrow him there. So 406 to go in the third quarter. We're down by three. Going to give that thing to Rudy Johnson. Got good blocking and picks up nine. Give it to Johnson. Here and he gets stopped. So we're going to set up the field goal team. The kick is up. The kick is good. And we tie this thing up at 17 all. Davis brought down by James. James and Davis have been going toe to toe on special teams in on offense and defense. That pass should have been intercepted, but I hit the triangle button too late. That pass caught by Kellen Winslow. So now it's going to be third down and eight, and that pass is hauled in by Northcutt. So just when you thought we were about to get off the field, you thought wrong. Hardy in the backfield lays the lumber on Green's legs. He's going to pick up just one. We get back into with Hardy again, loss of three. So third down and 12, Holcomb surveys the field, has a man wide open. A busted coverage of Morgan. Four catches, 80 yards, plus a touchdown. This defense is going to shift the D-line to the right side. Three seconds, two seconds, and they're not going to snap it. So we're going to take it to the fourth quarter of play, all tied up at 17. So first down and 10. Going to get that thing to Smith. And Smith, he's going to get brought down after a game of two. They're going to drop back the pass. Caught by Morgan. Reception number five for him. But we put a hit on Holcomb, and he's hurt. So bring in Luke McCown. They're going to run the ball with him here. Or run the ball with Green, I should say. McCown surveys the field. Throws on the knee. Caught by Morgan, but shy the first down. So third and six. They're not going to trust their third string quarterback. They get the ball to Suggs. He gets brought down by Justin Smith. And now he's shaking up. He's going to have to exit stage left. They got set up for a field goal. The kick by Philly. Phil Dawson is up, and it is good. And we find ourselves down by three. Locks it on the return up to the 25-yard line and brought down just shy of the 30. They get the ball to Rudy. Crosses the 30, but brought down after a gain of just three yards. Give it to Perry up the gut. He's fine for everything that he could get, and he gets two. Ward. Looking, that pass caught, and that's going to be a first down. Justin Smith probably won't return in this one, so it's going to be the backup Patterson in for him. There goes Johnson, gain of seven, our formation. They slide left, we run it to the right, and we pick up the first down by the skin of our teeth. We get the ball to Rudy here, another good block by our fullback, but now Rudy appears to be shaken up. So it's going to be Perry and Watson. We get the ball to Perry, and he goes nowhere, and he coughs it up. Lang forced the fumble, and he recovers it, and that could be a disaster. But we will challenge the play on the field. The call was a fumble. Lang laid the lumber, no doubt, but it looks like that forearm and that knee were down at the same time. So third down, we're going to find Kelly Washington and the Tennessee Volunteer coming through when we need him to. First down and 10. Palmer going to throw it. That pass caught by Kelly. It was tight coverage, but Palmer threads the needle, goes right into Kelly's hands for a touchdown, and that's what I like to see. So 24 to 20 is the score. McCown has it. McCown looking. McCown throws it. Caught by Davis. He gets it on the reception for a gain of eight. They throw it to the flat. Caught by Smith. Webster's there to bring him down, but the Browns are on the move. They get the ball to Green, and Green gets thrown down. McCown. Gives the ball to Green again. Breaks the tackle. Brought down by Kim Herring. Third down to five. Going to trust their quarterback here. And McCown going to find Northcutt for a first down. Luke is doing his thing. Going to give the ball to Green who breaks the tackle there. Second down and 11. McCown throws it up. Caught by Kellen Winslow. McCown to the right side. That pass off of the hands of Morgan. But that pass was right on the money. McCown looking. Throws it to the left side. Out of bounds, so incomplete there. We put eight guys in the box again. McCown looking, throws it, and it's caught by Winslow. Breaks a tackle and brought down at the last second to save a touchdown, and now we get a sack. So Williams with the sack there. They're going to run the ball. Green headed to the end zone and has another touchdown today. And we're back down by three with a minute 02 on the clock. Watson from his own end zone. Watson going to get met and dropped at the 18-yard line, 58 seconds to go. 
Palmer has it. Palmer going to throw it, and that pass is incomplete, broken up. Now Palmer sets his feet, throws it underneath, and that pass is dropped by Chad. 52 seconds of work with Palmer. Has Chad wide open, throws a perfect pass, going right back to our star receiver after that drop, and it pays off. Now Palmer looking for Chad again, and again he hauls it in. There's a flag down, and it's holding on Jones, so bring it back. First down in 20. Palmer with 42 seconds on the clock. Looking deep, caught by Chad Johnson, move those chains. 31 seconds to work with Palmer going to Chad again, makes the catch. He's going to jog his way inside the 10 to 5 and cross the goal line. He wanted to score and he does, but he tried to take as much time off of the clock by not holding the turbo button. And now they got their third string quarterback, who I believe is a rookie in this game. They're going to heave it deep with 15 seconds on the clock and that pass is incomplete. Can we survive versus the Browns? McCown. From the pocket, heaves it deep again, double coverage, intercepted by James, it was intended for Davis. Those two were going at it all day long, and we get the better of that matchup right here when it counts the most. So 31 to 27 is the final. A great game all around. Carson Palmer, he might be up for AFC Player of the Week honors with that performance. 400 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. Rudy Johnson, 20 carries, 92 yards for him. Perry, chipped them with just five. Chad Johnson, 11 for a buck, 84 plus two touchdowns. Peter Work, five for 58 plus a touchdown for him. Then Reggie Kelly got in the end zone. Just a great day offensively. And our defense showed up when we needed them too. James with seven tackles plus that pick. Hardy with six. Uh, Beckett with six as well. Uh, J Dog, Justin Smith might be out for the next handful of weeks, but he had a TFL. Hardy and Williams both had sacks. And then, of course, James with the INT. Winners and losers of week 12. Of course, week 12 is when you had the Thanksgiving Day games. The Lions would lose. You had to get on Thanksgiving to the Colts. The Bears and the Cowboys in the Julius and Thomas Jones Bowl. The Bears getting the best of them on Thanksgiving Day. Then you got the Buccaneers over the Panthers. The Browns obviously lose to us in Cincinnati. The Titans travel to Houston and they lose to the Texans 31-13. to The Chiefs, they would protect home field by beating the Chargers. Then you got the Vikings over the Jaguars. Overtime, the Patriots will beat the Ravens. So the Ravens are 7-4 and, and we're 7-4. and four. So we're going to be playing them next, next week for first place in the division. Then you got the Giants over the Eagles. The Steelers over the Redskins. Then you got the Falcons. They will beat the Saints. Cardinals will lose to the Jets just by one in Arizona. Dolphins beat down the Niners. Seahawks over the Buffalo Bills. And then the Broncos, they will lose to the Raiders. And the Packers lose to the Rams by two. Next week, 7-4 Ravens, 7-4 Bengals in Baltimore. Hope to see you all there. I hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace, love. High sauce.